Hi guys, um, a quick uh, pinion gear installation into the Low C10 SCTE. Uh, the objective of this is just basically showing how to get the right gear mesh and um, talking a little bit more about what pinion gear goes into the uh, Mamba Max Pro SCT uh, ESC and, uh, motor combo. So that's the 2400 Mamba Max Pro motor. Um, so let's just get started. So I'm going to prop this up over here. And actually, I'm going to take the cover off first so you guys can see what's under the hood. And there we go. So the ESC, and that's the motor we're going to be working on. So I'm just going to put the body away first, and then we can get started. So just to give you guys a better view, I'll put it at the angle from which we're going to be working. So here we go. So a clear picture of the motor, hopefully, which is right here. And as I break everything in the room, um, let's get some light on this right where we need it. Okay. So as you can see here, and I'll fix the zoom on it a bit. So that is what we're going to be working on. So I'm going to take out my tools. Um, and specifically, I'll be using my... Low C, well, it doesn't really matter what 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 sort of um, hex tool you use, as long as you use the right one. And so what we're going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this up over here. So let's just get in there and loosen that up. There we go. As you can see now, this is a really easy slide up and down. So um, again, the part that I'm using for this is the get it in focus often erasing 13 to 3 millimeter pinion gear so let's put that in alright now again um, I've said it before if you haven't seen my unboxing videos um, a bit of a shocker is, is that though this is a 8 scale cam for the motor it does not use a 5 uh, millimeter bore. So you're going to need uh, a mod one three millimeter, which is the offner right here, or you can get an adapter. Just you can have a look at my unboxing video, and you'll see what adapters um, are used. The uh, five to three millimeter adapters. So I'm just going to tilt this a bit so I can get this in while giving you guys a better shot. Um, so here we go. There we go. I don't know how much of this you can see from this end, but, oh, thank God, it fits. Um, there we go. So I'll try to pick this up just so that you can see what's going on on this side. And give you a better idea and an angle. So this is what we're looking at from this end. And if you have a look-see, what we can do now is we can move the uh, the motor mount whichever way we want. I get a better angle on this. Hang on. Um, here we go. And it's already moving the pinion, which is a uh, good sign. So, fortunately, here we go. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that a it's aligned properly and b that there's the right amount of mesh. Um, what I will do is I may just put in, do the paper test. Um, I usually just do it by look and feel. So if it sounds right and there's enough play, so which right now is hard to tell. Uh, so I'm just going to tighten this up and then I'll come back with what was done. All right, so um, adjusted the um, motor mount to where I think is the right gear mesh. So if you can get a good look at this, I'll try to bring more light on it. There we go. Uh, so that's the gear mesh that I've decided to go with. I did not use the paper uh, only because it was a, it was becoming a bit of a nuisance. But um, if you look at this, it doesn't look so bad. Um, and I'll just do a quick off the uh, that's all cool. Oh, the pinion's moved. Uh, it's not locked down yet. Um, 
But again, if you have a look at it, and I'll try to bring it in as close as possible for you to see, uh, that looks just about right. Uh, I have just yet to put um, some Loctite on the grub screw and then lock it down. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, this is pretty much the gear mesh that I have on my MT4 G3, and I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, I'm always, you know, wondering, you know, is it going to strip? But it's just one of those things that you really can't, you can't really ever know for sure till it happens. If it strips, it strips. But um, let's hope it doesn't. I almost feel like sometimes that there's too much of a gap in there. Um, if you guys feel the same or you feel differently, post it down below. And um, I'm thinking of taking this out for a run tomorrow. The gap is literally a millimeter, um, if that. It just seems a lot bigger because of the zoom. Um, but now that I look at it from the zoom, it seems about right. Uh, I think there's a low probability of it stripping. Um, yeah, looks good. So I'm just going to put in some Loctite. Uh, on the grub screw, I usually put in a fairly generous amount, um, only because I've had um, um, grub screws come out, and it's a real pain when you're out and trying to have a good time, and the one thing that stops you is is um, the lack of Loctite on uh, on the grub screw for the motor mount uh, for the pinion gear. So this see it is the blue Loctite. I use Thunder Tiger only because I have Thunder Tiger and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the grub screw on the hex like so and what I usually just do is dab the um, just run it across actually uh, put a generous amount and I leave it overnight um, just to see how it goes. So what I will do is probably put up a running video tomorrow. So that's for me. Uh, actually, it may just be too much. So I'll take a little bit off. Let it just drip one dot onto my finger, and from the other side as well. We don't want it to be impossible to take up. We just want it to stick in there. Uh, there we go. And that's that. Um, this on my mat, and in goes, oops, level that out, there we go, there we go, and in goes the grub screw. So you can actually adjust it when you have the screw all the way in. Um, the good thing is, worst case scenario, there's something wrong, you feel that the mesh is a little off later. You don't have to take the grub screw out. You just need to. The beauty of these adjustable motor mounts is, and I don't have one on the MT4 G3. It takes a little bit more work, but um, the good thing about this is, is you leave the Loctite in the way it is, and you just change, uh, adjust the pinion from the motor mount. So this actually looks like a pretty good. Okay, so I won't, don't want it to never come off. So I'm just gonna leave it like there, and that is that and that should do it and it feels pretty evened out so that w that's pretty much it that's the installation um, I'm gonna let this dry I usually let them dry overnight you most people don't even wait that long but in my experience it, it always pays off to wait just a little bit um, if you're looking to run it right away you could um, but I usually suggest that you don't um, so again the pinion gear is on. Um, I'm just going to double check. I would not recommend Loctiting um, the motor mount from the top only because it's fairly tight and you can just give it an extra sort of twist without having to do anything else. And that's pretty much it. So installation is complete and I'm almost tempted to just put a battery in and see how this rolls. So, but I don't want to mess up um, the Loctite. Uh, so, I'll put up a video tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, you have opinions about how I did this, 
comments, questions, shoot them down below. Remember, if you call Castle Creations, they will argue that you need a 3.2 millimeter uh, pinion gear. However, this is a 3 uh, millimeter Mod 1 pinion gear, and it fits on just right. So, thanks for watching. Um, like, dislike, depending on how you feel. Subscribe, and always, any questions you have, I will do my best to answer them. And if I don't have the answers, I'll get them for you and come back. Thanks for watching, guys.